Hey everybody, what is up? This is Shane the Rising Iron Picker coming at you with another video. I'm going to show you a few things today on some tips to sell on eBay, to make money, flipping items so you can pay off whatever you need to pay off or invest in your business or whatever. So let's get to it. I'm going to show you a few things I sold and then I'm going to give you a few tips. Let's go. So what do y'all think about this? I just thought about this. What do y'all think about this craziness about like PayPal and all this other stuff? So they, eBay was going to get rid of PayPal and then now they're keeping them as a payment processor, but well, a payment option, but then audience is going to come in as a payment processor. I know it's very confusing probably to some new sellers, but Hey, hang in there. It's going to get better. Um, it's not going to be so crazy. So I'm just going to show you a few items I sold. I only got three to ship. Uh, it's Saturday, so I'm, I'll probably get some more tonight or tomorrow. I don't know. But I also have to list. I uh, sold, I was like over 300, like 315. I sold down to 287 in a week. And I'm do, I'm have about a little over $19,000 in listed inventory just on eBay alone. So let's get to some of these items. All right, so I sold three of these uh, for $49.50. They're just broadheads. I picked them up on clearance at Walmart. $49.50. Finally sold these shoes again. Sold them the first time for $60. They got returned, and then I'm like, oh, I hate this. And then, lo and behold, I took a best offer for $24, $25, bucks, and I'm shipping them back out again. So hopefully they don't get returned. Um, they just didn't like the way they fit. And as well as we sold a book, the Bible and homosexual practice. And, uh, we sold this for 17 bucks. I had it listed up for 32. Um, I took an offer for 17, which was probably the lowest on eBay, but I thought, you know what? I can take the offer. I get a sale. I make money. I, I paid 50 cents for it. <sighs> we'll just make some money on this book. So boom. That's what we did. Um, my death pile is looking a lot better. It has definitely kind of went down a lot more. I'm listing more and more stuff. Uh, probably gonna end up listing the Dark Tower game tonight. As long as uh, with these some of these awesome postcards. Uh, very, very old postcards that is. If you check them out. Some of them are like Gar postcards. Some of them are real photo postcards. Um, just depends on kind of what it is. But that's a really old stamp on there, as you can see. And this is a uh, Crispus Attacks Monument. It's the Massacre 1770. It's a statue. So we're going to list some of the stuff, but let's pack this really quick. Let's pack some of the stuff, and then I will give you a few tips. And uh, I'll see what you guys think about some of the, some other stuff. So now let me say this. How do I ship these shoes out? Boom. Well, that's just not it though. This is a shoe, uh, this is the priority mail shoe box. And what I wanna do is show you guys and gals how I ship the shoes out. And I use this handy dandy little thing right here. Um, so I'm gonna show you this. There is gonna be a link down below this video. So you can order one, it's gonna be an affiliate link, but I wanna show you this. This actually changed, this thing changed my life. And I use it for my Amazon shipments too. See this little knob? Well, it adjusts. I can't, it's just really hard to do it one handed. So hold on. Let me put the camera down somewhere. So check this out. This thing adjusts like so, right? And so what I do is I get it to the, the back of the shoes. And then I just go like this. Check it out. Whoop. And then I go down the other side. And then. Down that side, and down that side. And then all I do after that is I get my handy dandy box knife and I just cut them like so. Oops, I almost cut myself on that one. Almost cut myself. And also tomorrow we should be, uh, actually tomorrow we should have another liquidation box video out coming out. So I just got another liquidation box in, but check this out. This, oh, never mind. You have to cut the other side to actually do that. So, um, 
I got my other box in and it folds in. Look at that. Just like so. Ta-da! -da! All right, I'm gonna show y'all what I'm doing here. I have another box and another box over there set up for my lister. So she's probably gonna be listing those next week, probably Monday or Tuesday. Uh, I'm probably gonna list, uh, so with this Dark Tower game, it's done and over with, I am listing it uh, probably today or tomorrow. And I think what I'm gonna do is actually, since the box is so crappy condition, I'm gonna part everything out. So I can sell this for about 120. And then, Here's the crazy part. I want to show you guys this. So some of these little men and dragons will sell for like anywhere from, I think, $17 to $27 a piece. So I can sell these each for $27 a piece. How freaking crazy is that? That's pretty nuts, right? So that's probably what I'm going to do is just part it all out. Um, you know, I'll sell these separately. You can't get them anymore, so I'll sell this separate. Uh, actually, I might just sell that with the tower. Um, or maybe separately. And then all these little cards right here, I will sell all those. Uh, probably in a lot. Or, you know, separately, depending on what whatnot. And then these little guys, I will sell as well. Probably separately. This game is super rare and hard to find, so um, I have doubles for everything. And I also have double scorecards, so I'll be selling all those separately as well. So, with that being said, I have a lot of work to do. I've been taking pictures most of the day. Um, and literally, I just come over here, power my camera on, and we're in biz. So, it's a Sony A6000 camera. That's what I take my eBay photos with. And uh, one day, one day I will do a thing on photos. My plan is to eventually do a video on photos. All right, we're going in my kitchen right now. I want to show you all a little project. By the way, here's like a secondary death pile. Don't look. Um, we're doing some work down here. But I want to show you something real quick. This is our spare guest bedroom for right now. Um, I want to show you what I've been doing um, with my death pile. The stuff that's like below 10 bucks that I can't really sell. I'm going to show you what I'm doing with it. Well, I am actually box lotting everything up for the auction. And I will be taking these to the auction next month. And uh, here's like a jewelry box lot with a bunch of jewelry and a computer game. I'll throw some other stuff in that one. Here's uh, some other box lots right here with a bunch of really cool stuff in it. And uh, also some more box lots down here. A computer box lot. They're all broke. Uh, one of them works, one of them doesn't. And so all this stuff is going to go to the auction. And virtually I'll make money on it. And that money I'll put in my bank account. And that's what's going to buy me more product. Now keep in mind, this stuff isn't just stuff that I randomly picked up and, you know, paid hundreds of dollars for. Um, this stuff right here is mainly stuff that I, I either had returned from Amazon from just customers that didn't like it and then I couldn't sell it because it was open or it's stuff that I found in the dumpster dumpster diving like this is all dumpster diving stuff I found this in the dumpster found all these in the dumpster um as well as there's stuff in here that I bought in huge lots I I ran a lot of ads on Craigslist and I would just pick up you know, if they had a few things, I would say, what else can you throw in to make the deal better? And they would throw in a bunch of crap, and I'd buy it. And a lot of that is just the stuff from the, the lot. And uh, hopefully I will be actually, you know, probably profiting um, a decent amount on. Because most of the stuff I don't have a lot of money in. Alright, so now that you've seen kind of what I do with the stale inventory, or inventory I don't want to sell. Um... Well, what can I say is if you want to rank your eBay business up, you know, I feel like a lister is definitely something you need or have to have, depending on how much you want to go. I mean, you can list a lot of stuff, right? You can list a lot of stuff, but eventually you're going to get tired and you're going to need some help. You know what I mean? So that's why I have a lister. Um, I do list stuff myself as well and probably the postcards and then the dark tower stuff I'll be listing my up myself tonight uh, And then tomorrow I'm gonna have to try to make some Amazon shipments 
Now, the reason I started these videos is I wanted to be transparent with everybody how I do my business. And I think this is the most transparent as I'm showing you my day to day, like what I do. Tell me what you all think about my day to day. Should I change it? Um, could I make it better? Tell me in the comments if I could make my day to day better. If I could make it better and I could be more productive, I want you to tell me how, and I want you to give me some tips in the comments on what you think my progress on my death pile. So my progress on my death pile, the progress in my business, tell me how you think it's going. So I don't know. I like feedback, love feedback. Just don't be a-holes about it. So still working on, working on this. And then after this, I am going to work on this massive clothing pile. Um, so yeah, I got almost two more totes ready for the lister. And then I also have to, I, I don't think I've ever showed you guys this. I also have to keep working on all this, all these PlayStation 1 games. I have to list these up. Some Harry Potter, or and actually it's not Harry Potter, that's the link. I thought it looked like Harry Potter, but Tomb Raider, all these Tomb Raider games, all these consoles, NES console, Atari console. I have a ton more consoles. I gotta list all this crap. Especially this. Sony Handycam in the package. It's not brand new, but it is basically almost like new. So it is uh, still in the package. I'm going to be listing that puppy up soon. Even comes with the CD-ROM software. Um, looks pretty dang good. I've had that for quite some time. I remember I bought that, I don't even want to say, probably two years ago. Also, what I want to say is if you want really, really good photos, I got these eBay soft boxes, And they're... Uh, I think they're made by um, Lima Studio or Linko. They're made by Linko Inc. And I will link these also down below so you can look at them. And they're boxes. They're not the umbrellas. The boxes and the and it has a diffuser on it. it diffuses the light, makes it a nice white background. So pay attention. This is my tip. So I have this nice white background. It's actually a vinyl. It's like vinyl and cloth combined, so it can blow the background out. And then I have a black cloth or ba a black actually backdrop up above that I pull down. And that's for items that blend in too much with the white background. I picture them on a black background. I've been doing that for quite some time and it, it works fantastic. So if you like this video, like, share, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Don't forget, tell me what you think about my process. I really want to hear your, your guys' thoughts. Um, you know, I would not be where I'm at today without you guys and without all my subscribers. And uh, y'all are awesome. And I appreciate all the support you guys give me every week. So with that being said, thank you so much. I really, really, really do appreciate it. And I hope that every one of you is successful with me. And not just, you know, whatever. But I hope we can all be successful together. And I thought there was one more thing I was going to say. But I can't remember. So don't forget. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow I should have my uh, liquidation video out tomorrow if things go as planned. So I just got the liquidation box in like last week. I just haven't had time to open it. I haven't opened it at all. So it should be out tomorrow. And then uh, also we should be doing more retail arbitrage videos as well next week. So don't forget. Tune in and make that money.